G'day, I'm Will. How good? It's beautiful. And this is Luce. Excited? So pretty. And together we are travelling around Australia in our 1987 Toyota Hiace named Joey. <laughs> Follow along to see these roads we ride. You'll be We started the day by boarding the Wellington Ferry to cross the Murray River. Rolling, rolling on the river. Bam, 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 da, bam, bam. We are on our way to Talem Bend to explore Old Talem Town, the biggest pioneer village in the Southern Hemisphere. In 1987, the doors opened to Old Talem Town and since has grown to be Australia's largest pioneer village. With people from all over the world coming to visit to step back in time and see what life was like for the settlers of South Australia from 1860 to 1960. <laughs> I reckon they would have some parts in here for Joey. There are over 110 different buildings to walk through and each one is even set up with furnishings appropriate to the period it came from. You can spend hours walking around the streets of the village looking at the old buildings, machinery and cars. Old Talem Town has so much character. While you are walking around, old songs are playing and the way the buildings are laid out make you feel like you have really stepped back in time. After stepping back into the present day, we checked out the Bend Motorsport Park. We had a look at some of the cars in the showroom and we were lucky enough to see some practice laps. It was awesome to see a variety of vehicles screaming down the straight. But before long, it was time to head down a dusty track to find what would become one of our favourite campsites so far. Boothby Rocks is a free bush camp about an hour south of Talem Bend. It is a fair way off the highway, but it was so worth it. 
We only planned one night but ended up staying two nights because it was such a beautiful spot that we had all to ourselves. We climbed up the granite boulders at sunset and sunrise that overlooked the farmland. The sun at sunset lit up the rocks making them glow a deep orange. Okay, All right. second bakery of the trip. It was so, the morning t morning loaf bakery at Border Town. Border Town, that's right. You got uh, a. I just got the old plain steak pie. Uh, comes in a square format. <laughs> <laughs> um, six and a half. I'm gonna give this one. Really? Just slightly. The one from uh, Gulwa was slightly better. Um, pastry was just a bit flakier, a bit more crispy in the other one. This one's still decent. Mm, there's a look, line out the door. There's, it was a line out the door. Um, look, I reckon it was still worth the wait. It's a great pie, don't get me wrong. But, um, but that, that's, all, that's, that's all it is. It's just a great pie. Nothing flash, nothing special. It's not trying to be something it isn't. It's just a solid down to earth pie. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's good. And I got a pepper one, which is very yummy. I would give this one pretty good. It was like a seven out of 10, I reckon. I, I'd go, yeah, about a seven as well with that one. That was um, pretty good. Just a bit chunkier with the steak than the one I've got. And that peppery flavour is just it's always really nice. And so the pastry nice. is, is ten times better in that specialty pie. It's good. <laughs> and so, yeah. a beautiful spot to eat That's it in. It. So we just had to go for a walk to get our poor milk. planning milk. Because it is Good Friday today and nothing's open. Nothing's open. <laughs> and we didn't really think about that. We were just in our bush campsite, camping away. Thinking, oh, we'll just get some more groceries tomorrow. We'll use up what we've got. Surely civilization is open. Yeah, nah. <laughs> and we had to just go for a walk to the servo to get some milk because luckily we have packet pasta left over. That's it. <laughs> After the Easter weekend, we headed to Mount Monster Conservation Park and hiked to the Mount Monster Trig Point. Lock the hubs in, Dale. Locking them in. How good. The top had awesome views of the surrounding farmlands, but also had dun, dun, dun! hundreds of millipedes. We found a spot to camp in the old quarry and ended up staying for two nights. Definitely one of our more unique campsites. No! <laughs> we couldn't go past Narracourt without checking out one of the caves. The Narracourt Caves are World Heritage listed as they are one of the most important fossil sites in the world. Animals would fall into a hole in the ground and not be able to escape. This continued for half a million years so there is now quite a rich fossil record of the animals that were in the area at that time. There are 28 known caves in the park but only four are open to the public as the others are valuable for scientific research and preservation. We chose to explore the Alexandra Cave. It was discovered in 1908 and is full of amazing stalactites, stalagmites and columns. It's now time to fire up old Joey <laughs> and head south towards beautiful Mount Gambia where we'll catch you next episode.